All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to set up Batisera in um, on Raid. Um, it was asked that I did this, so I'm going to do this. So if that sounds good, let's get started. Just like last time, um, we're going to jump over to the Batisera website, and we are going to get the Batisera image, and I'm going to do the desktop. And we're just going to download that. And then once that's downloaded, we will unzip it. All right, so we're downloaded here. So all we gotta do is we'll just go here and open up the folder. And we'll bring us to our download folder. And we're just gonna right, extract, right click and hit extract all. Or we could have just hit extract all up here. Um, and then we'll just hit extract. And then once that's um, extract, we'll go ahead and grab the um, image out of there. And there we are. There's the image. All right. So what we're going to end up doing is go ahead and let me just rename this image here. You don't have to. This is just optional. And I'm just going to back this all the way up to Batisera. And then keep it there. Then I'm going to copy this up here because I don't feel like typing. Then I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to go into my shares in the Unrate itself and then we're going to drop this in domain and I'm just going to create a folder here and just call it temp and then I'm just going to start that. Now I have a temp folder. Now if I click in that temp folder, I can go up here and upload. And then if I go back over here, um, and I just paste that in. And then right there's my Batisera image. And I open that up. And then I upload it. And then we'll just have to wait till that's finished before we move on. All right. So now that we have that uploaded, next thing we want to do is we want to jump over here into the terminal because we need to expand the allocation on that drive. So if I jump in here, what I want to do is I want to go to my mount, and then it's going to be users. Then I put it in domain, and then remember I put it in temp. So now if I list my drive out, I have that right there. So what I want to do is I want to file a And then I want to go, let's see, 10 gig. And then I want to go B-A-T-O-C-E-R-A. And run that, and that way when I um, bring it into Batisera, it will expand the drive um, there for us. So we'll just go ahead and exit out of here. And then we'll jump over here to our VMs. And then here, we'll create the VM. Alright, so to create the VM, it's pretty straightforward. You just hit Add. VM and then we'll go over here to Debian because it is Debian base you can change the icon if you want I'm just going to keep it the um, same actually I'm just going to put default VM just to be a little bit different and change that and then right here it's on um, Um I don't know how to spell that that's B A T um, B A T O C E R A. It doesn't matter, but you know. And then this is an Unraid um, VM for gaming. Okay, and you don't have to put a description down. I just did just because. Um, down here, I'm just gonna put on two right here 0, 4, and 2, 6 my logical CPUs um, you may have more that's fine 
Initial memory, I'm just going to go to 496. I'm going to keep everything the same. Now, we're not going to install an IOSO here because um, we're using that image that's already created for us. So primary disk, this is what you want to change right here. We'll just go down here to, where is it at? Manual. And then once we're in manual, then we can set there and go down to user. And then we had domains. We have temp and we have the Batisera image right there. And all this stuff, you know, we can maintain the same. If you want to mount this to your one of your share drive, like inside your Unraid, you can do that. Um, I'm not going to do it for this tutorial. I'm just going to keep going down. Um, graphic card, we could select the graphic card here if we want. Um, for now, I'm going to keep it virtual. And then we'll keep going down here. Sound card. Same thing, if I select the video card, I have to select the video card sound controller. That's because you don't have half a video card, you have a full video card. And then, you know, we'll go down here and notice on my USB devices, it's reading my Microsoft controller. So I'm just going to put a check box right there just to make sure it gets brought in. And then um, start VM after creation. So we'll just go ahead and uh, create that. And that should bring up our Batisera. And then this is going to go up there. And this is where I said the resize log. It's going to resize um, now that we ran that um, f allocate command. So now we'll have this going up. And this will open up. And then once it's open up, I'm talking about we should have it um, pretty much set up. And there it is, like Batisera Linux. And should show my collections coming in. And this is the default. And then just to show you, like right here, is I have a controller. And then I can set there and move this around. You know, I can select, you know, like a game. Um, if I want to, I want that game. Um, yeah, a little Donkey Kong action here. Classic Kong, um, which I think is kind of funny that the um, one they made for like the Batisera is actually better than <clears throat> the one um, that Nintendo originally put out. Um, I just think it's kind of funny. But yeah, so like here it is. We can sit there and I'm kind of run and um, jump around and do all that stuff if we want to. So let's take a quick look and see I can set the run and jump and do all that stuff. I haven't played Donkey Kong like forever. Um, so we'll just see if I can. I'm just going to do one guy real quick to see if I can actually make it up there really quick. Ooh, look at that. And then, yeah, that's it. All right, so that's it. Um, I'm not going to belabor that anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, shut this down.